James Dennis. Yeah, Give him yeah, a hey, 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 hey. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally put on the spot. I'm not a public speaker at all. I, but I hate it actually. I'm, I'm, oh, I've got hot hands right now. This is the camera there. But um, yeah. So that, that's sort of the story. And we worked out how to, that people are going to make a commitment to pulling out a buy anything from you. And we made a commitment in our in our process. Step number three, I think it is. is you know, the six step process. Step three is buying property. So they don't buy a program unless they actually know that they're committed to buy a property. So we've had a hell of a success rate with um, people that buy their $299 program, your case five grand, whatever it is, that's entirely up to you guys. But once they've actually made that purchase, you know they're buying a property if they can back up on finance. So that was the next thing that we had uh, an issue with, is we'd been probably three of one, two, three, four finance brokers now, five finance brokers that really screwed us around and lost a few deals that way because they say that we're gonna change the world and you're gonna start, start feeding a bit of business. And they, they get a little sidetracked and, and work out that, I don't know what, they totally didn't work out otherwise we'd still be doing business with them. So we opened up our own finance company and got some, uh, you just started, you met Dee on the phone, I think, once or twice. She's pretty, pretty clued up. So we just wanted to put a ribbon around everything because there's things that let us down as finance and getting the, A, the borrowing capacity one, but B, getting it wrapped up properly uh, and having somebody who can strategize on, and Dee's actually got a quite extensive property portfolio as well. So she now had to make it work and, and sometimes cross collateralize if you must be, but if not, we'll just generally keep it separate. So that's a whole other story. I'm not, a, I'm not the finance guru at all, so we've got finance questions. We might get to get her on the line and, and ask that one. But um, so yeah, we had a bit of um, success with the 299 model, we'll call it. And um, you guys have done the same thing. So everyone that's bought a program or will buy a program will buy a property if they can stack up. So we're all at a bit of an advantage to the other guys that are doing the other models that are doing the old cold call telemarketing, buying leads. Got you know 40 guys on the phone creating leads to go out and home and do it that way. A pretty tough model, and everyone I speak to in that game is pretty much the same opinion, and it's, it gets very expensive. So it's, it's costing them about 15 to 20 grand a sale sometimes to, to, to get a sale on the lease inside. So we, okay, well we're not going to go down that path, we're on that level. So, with that, um, positive property investments was born, and then I just started getting a little bit, um, um, what's the word, savvy with who's got what, when, why, and how, what stock, and the, to work out that you can have people supply the stock for you without having to go and get it all. Uh, and run all the contract side of it. And that's the other side that lets it write down. Is, is A, the quality of the stock and the valuation, and B, is the, getting the contracts done. So it's conveyancing as well. Judy at Bell does a really good job. And then get the finance. But then, um, yeah, it's, um, it can be quite tricky. So you've got to have guys that have got quality stock. And this guy that will come around, they'll knock on your door every five minutes when they work out you're selling all this property. And they'll be uh, telling you they can, they can give you this, they can give you that, and they'll all do backflips and whatnot. But a lot of them are just out there. So how can we focus on regional because of the cash flow there? Yeah, and there's also more growth in regional generally. And uh, how we come to that conclusion, by the way, I'm the property guru either. I did a lot of reading. There's a fellow by the name of Terry Ryder. There's a lot of writing for used to do like the Australian and a lot of a lot of researchers. And they basically watched a couple of his webinars and said that you know people are uh, a fit a story, not not a not, not an actual factual sort of scenario. And nine times out of ten, if you get the right regional centre, it will outperform metropolitan property hands down. So that and the cash flow. So um, there's certain areas that we're moving into very shortly um, that won't be so, um, what's the word, glitzy as far as the returns, but they'll certainly be um, for the growth side of it. And But then it'll be the entry level as well. So there's a couple of different areas. If you've got affordability is the main thing that we've found. I'd like for a lot of the people that can't even borrow about 450, a lot of the couples that are in the 350 mark. So you try and find metropolitan stuff with a little bit of three in front of it, it's pretty difficult. So it's about having affordability and then you talk about the sea change, tree change, all that sort of stuff like that. So the regionals that are linked to mining, but not um, specifically mining only, like a Moranbar. Someone Jamie sent me through an email the other night, someone said, well, I've got great stock in Moranbar, and that, that's up near, yeah. and, uh, and that's just, you just wouldn't even go near it. It's like a one trip pony town. So you've got the BHP uh, Mitsubishi Alliance up there. They had a bit of a problem with the unions and all the fly-in, fly-out. So whilst Moranbar was the, 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 you know, the, the shining star, They've had a lot of problems because they've um, laid off of quite, a, uh, quite a few staff. So the house price has plateaued and the rent has dropped to the floor. And so you've got the clients who are going in. Look, more than bad when it was 150 grand, 180 grand, perfect. Now it's half a million plus. You miss the, you guys will have the property clock, especially in cycles, seven o'clock when you want to buy, well, that's, that's, past, that's past midnight. You know, so, um, you know, it's not, it's, it's going to flatter. I'm not, not to say it's not gonna, it's never going to perform again, but you just wouldn't put your clients in and be putting the something down the, on the, on the, the bottom of the market or on the upswing. So, with that, it's all about stock selection. That's what we've, we've learned a couple of hard lessons on the way through uh, valuations and, and so forth. So it makes it um, 
easy for the clients. When you clients buying on a seven, a seven o'clock market, they'll be able to not to, you know at 12, 18 months again, they'll be able to buy again from us and again and again and again. We just keep going finding seven o'clock markets around the country mm-hmm. and try and do it with the if neutral geared or positive geared. Mm-hmm. But if it's going to cost them a little bit each each month, that's cool because you've got a positive gear property offset over there. So that's why we also try and um, with a mix. Um, we've got some. We've got the Alex Perry stuff and with some other stuff coming on very shortly, which is in Kangaroo Point in Brisbane, which is right on the river there. Kangaroo Point's a prime spot. It's, I don't know what it's, it's just a stone throw from the city mm-hmm. on the side of the Stroke Bridge. Uh, again, that'll be pretty unique. That'll be nice units in there, seven percent return, like just some quality stock like that. So, like a metropolitan a blue chip piece of stock, and then maybe like a high cash flow, but not a Moran Bar, more like a Chinchilla or something like that to offset it. Or some other stock I'm about to mention in a moment. So you can you can always put them into a, a piece of stock that's neutral or a little bit negative, but not for the purpose of negative gearing. Like negative gearing to me, I don't. Well, just me personally, I don't get it. Um, so if there's, if you've got a nice blue chip piece that's, that's prime for growth and the, the positive cash flow offset that, that's cool too. So it doesn't have to be positive cash flow, positive growth. <coughs> so you you've got done quite a few plans for people then already, and yeah. Oh yeah, we just um, we just yeah, what we do. Um, Flick the cost to you guys. When, when someone buys a program, we give them a. Um, it's it's a basically a set of ten questions or buying questions. You know, and we call it the investor profile assessment. And they're just basically ammunition for you to go. Great, you want to buy this because you want to do this and because your kids are little, you know, yeah. and you want all positive cash flow and you're ready to buy it now. And you find a value working with a company like us. Mm-hmm. Great. So when you're having the discussion with them on the phone between selling the program to trying to put your property in front of them, I just thought it happened too quick, so we had to flesh it out. So we said, okay. Get your fact finder back in. Like, because they bought a program. So, was, what I did was sold a program for $2.99 and then sold the property that same day. I was like, hang on a sec, like, it was a bit too quick. So, I've had to slow it down a little bit. So, fact find, I'll come back with your borrowing capacity. Then you'll have your call with, with D, your one on one strategy session, and then we'll talk to the accountant and have a chat with him to make sure that you've got the right structure set up. And in the meantime, I'll work out how much they can borrow. But I'd say, let's do an investor profile and work out who you are and, and the why. Mm-hmm. You know, the how's the easy bit, we've got the how's. So yeah. The investor yeah. profile, that's, that's what I was forgetting. Yeah, so that. the how's the, the how's the easy bit, and that's what we're all here to provide, is it's a done for you solution. Mm-hmm. And that's that, it's just all done, you don't have to look for it. I mean, no one really wants to go out there and go and find that themselves, that's what we do professionally. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a pain in the backside, and it's a lot of work, and you're not going to get the deals that we would deal with. Also, so. what can be helpful um, is, you know, we all, we've got some of the horror stories from the from the US, you know, where people went out and they bought a thousand dollar property that was, you know, shot up or the, you know, all this sort of stuff. That sort of in, um, story that we can put into our conversations with people would be helpful. Like, uh, you know, the guys initially when they were looking, they found X Y Z issue with trying to find regional properties. Yeah. Now, <coughs> thing is, now they've got a this seamless process. But if you were to try to do it, this is what you could come up against, and that can create that sense of, oh yeah, I, I need. Yeah, I'm not that. It's just another thing. It's like, what do you do for a job? Well, I, I do X, Y, and Z. Well, do you want another one? <laughs> that's, that's what this is. It's full time. Yeah. And if not, um, mm-hmm. and that's the thing. What I found with this, uh, some clients is that you guys might not get this, but they think, okay, why would I go through you? And then they start the information half, and I go research here, and I start to hunt around. And the good thing with property is if you've got a, de- a property with a deal with an edge, they can't beat it in the market, and it's not used on realestate.com. If it is, well, that doesn't really happen. But if you've got a property with an edge. Or a discount on a Gladstone one for the four year and up, but if you're not going to get that anywhere, it's just forcing through relationships. You're going to find somebody that can go along and go, right, I'm going to make this going under. I'm going to need 20, 20 lots, 10, 15 lots here. We're going to need to move apart. So, stuff like that, we can make it pretty edgy. So, yeah, it's another job. So, in that investor profile, it's good to work out. And then, not only that, um, like I said, we want to slow the process down a bit. When they've got it back, you read it through, you've got the buying capacity, you've got the structure right, you're sitting in front of them going, let's just read through the investor profile assessment. And you're just reading back what they've written down, which is nine times out of ten is identical because they're, they're not even that strictly scripted. But it, most questions will have the same answer. So you're just regurgitating what they said. You know, great. Well, listen, uh, you can borrow X amount of dollars. That puts us over here. Let's start talking about property and just get down to the um, if they're you know, 350 or 400. Well, they're not going to be buying a chinchilla house and land because it's out of the price out of the market. So they might buy a uh, like if they're 360 or whatever, they might buy on this duplex because they've had in Toowoomba. And they might buy one better at in Alex Perry. So you know what stock you're going to be putting in front of them the minute you know how much they can borrow. And then the inside super, outside super. So it's, it's not a... So once if, um, once the financial fact finders come in and it's gone to D, does, and D comes back to us and says they can X, Y, Z, yeah. does, do then we organise the appointment with D and, and, and no, the client? She, 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 she should be doing that appointment 
um, she'll come back with a borrowing capacity. Yeah. But with that, um, when, when she's come back with the borrowing capacity, and that's the one thing we'll get down to is a bit of um, process, is the fact finders have got to have, and we'll have enough of that in one um, pretty soon as well, they've got to have as much information as possible. Like if they leave off, they've got a credit card for 20 grand, some lenders look at that as three times multiple, mm. like they have 60 grand liability of it, sometimes, or at least 100% liability anyway. So stuff like that will affect serviceability. Um, as I said, I'm not the finance guru, but and then that then will come back to the number that we shaved down considerably how much they can borrow. Um, so with, with that call, uh, with that, should they can borrow 450 ballpark, she'll start if they can't, they're a goer. Like, oh yes, they can borrow 350, 450. She'll start at work and she'll yeah. start collecting all the documents. And I'll run you through the back end of the, the Get Financial website, which I showed you the other day. Remember I was talking about? Um, she'll start collecting her data. It'll be like 100 points. Uh, rental, you know, or mortgage rate, 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 insurance, whatever, and to get the, enough qualifications when the application's been fulfilled, they can shoot it all off. So in the back of the website, it's quite tricky. It's got get your driver's license, get this. And once they've up, uploaded themselves, it says got your driver's license. So it's a little bit of a game. It's pretty cool. So um, so yeah, from there, and then so then you'll present them a property. So whatever their price range will be, is you'll, you'll, you'll shoot a property out to them. And nine times out of 10, as the number we're listed at the moment, is they'll have a nice research document attached to it and probably going to cull a little bit out of it, like 30 pages is probably a bit too much for them. Just need to get a bit of the area background, whatnot, but I'll cull all those down. Um, and that way you can read through with them, you know, send them uh, a, um, the PDF, or if you want to do a little webinar to your group, the same thing as a webinar, so maybe let your Alice Perry thing do a good job of that. And then, um, yeah, just go, look, this is the area, this is why, this is what's going on in the area. So when it comes to training, as far as with our guys, is that we just get those research documents and you just read them and 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 read them and, read them and, read them and become an expert on the area, on the why. Yeah. It's about the why are we up there. And you look at you know, government, private, in spending, infrastructure, plan of current projects, plan projects, you have more companies in those towns and, and so forth. So we've got a port, rail, gas, pipeline, whatever it may oh, be. Within that then, is it likely that you know, if, if it's Mackay, we'll keep finding more opportunities in Mackay, or is yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we won't have to keep learning. We will have to no. learn probably half a yeah, dozen. There is only going to be, um, you, at the moment, but from what we're seeing with the spending, is it's all to do with the coal and gas. Mm -hmm. Well, not all, I shouldn't say that, but you're not going to go over to Port Hedland now. Iron ore's had it you know, a bit choppy and had a bit of a tough time with the gas. They're, they forward sell the gas for about 20 years, and then put in futures contract, or futures contract to make it easy. A forward sell. 20 years worth of gas, and the stuff has to come out of the ground. But a lot of iron ore is, is derived from Gladstone as well. Iron ore? Mm. We've got coal, from coke and coal. Because I know China it. still gets a lot of Gladstone. Oh, Gladstone iron, iron ore out of Gladstone? Mm. Really? I'm aware of that. But Probably yeah. not as much as yeah, out of east south east now. Out of, out of South Australia, they um, only have a lot of the old mines down there as well. They get a lot of iron ore out of there. And uranium is a big thing. Like there's Mount Isa, they've got a big. Uh, Queensland government's given the green light. So what's in Mackay? Coal? Mm -hmm. No, there's coal export ports and, um, and refineries and so forth and that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff in there and it'll be in that document, that Mackay yeah. document. Mm -hmm. Got some great units in, in Mackay, which we'll get onto in at the moment. Mackay had a boom, like it went nuts for a while and then it's pulled back a little bit and it's starting to get a tinker along and doing port expansion and they're doing all those bits and pieces. So as far as all the stats go, I won't bog sit here and rattle off because you'll forget them all anyway. It's about the research stuff. So what I'm going to do We'll get into the different stock in a minute. Is over the weekend, I have my IT guys working all weekend doing um, a back end like the Newground portal. And this is the back end will host all the stock, all the listings. Um, this, it'll have a, a, a concise research document. It'll have the financials, which we'll get onto. And then it'll have an, ex uh, an expression of interest. And I'm going to do it all branded for 21st century. So it'll all be 21st century logos, all be all your Kingsway addresses on it. It'll look like it's all yours. So, and the videos, often find videos on areas like that Gladstone video, it even had 21st century in, in wow, there. That was great. I, I just sometimes get there and it's midnight or whatever, start Googling around, I just find whatever, and I go, great, that'll work there, and then pack it all up, and then the video you can send out as a Because uh, I mean, it's good, like what she does, she can pull videos and then just... Yeah, we had, we had it too, we just check we knew, I don't know, the program was my yeah. team, guys, said, start at one minute, you know, and chop out one minute 26 to one minute 29, yeah. which yeah. talks about a specific estate, mesh it, meld it, re-render it, and off it goes again. So, You'll have, when you go into the website, I'm going to do this with all the new ground stock as well. I'm going to grab all their stock. And because we're going to have stock coming from all over the, well, I'm going to have stock coming from all over the place for you guys. I think we should have one hub to get it from. And so I'm going to make a, a, a login that's already been made now, uh, which is you log into one of my websites, and it's going to all be housed in there. So you'll only ever go to one place to get the stock, 
that ever sent expressions of interest one way that to my admin um, staff because that's the the real bottleneck is contracts. Yeah, so everything Call goes into you now. Irrespective not not just it. not just yet. Oh I'll no. see you when okay. um, we've got um, we've got um, we hiring uh, contract clerks very shortly, like a couple of contracts and basically paper chasers. It's a it's a pretty big job. Uh, it's just a monster job. So everything's going to not just yet, but shortly will be run out of the back of my, one of my sites and all be uploaded, like I said, all branded, all done, all videos, everything like that. We can even template some email if you want to cut and paste and go, hi John, thank you conversation today, here's the link for this, here's the link for that, da 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 da, -da. Um, And uh, like, well, I the, well, the video is great, but you just can't put in webinars, unless they're recorded webinars, and you know, you guys like to move a hands on touch with them. So, all, all the stuff will be in one spot, and then uh, when I get the, um, the contracts clerk on board, all EOIs will just come to one person, all contracts will come to one person, and we'll just deal with it at the back end, we'll do the solicitors, we'll do all the contract stuff, we'll do the lot up there in the back of the website. And so irrespective of it's new ground. It'll all come through my site. Yeah. So you guys just log in one spot and we'll be there. Yes, yeah, so that will make it easy. Yeah, because <laughs> otherwise you just Because you're going, shit, which company does that have to go to? That's you know right, I mean? and that's the thing I found when I was first kicking this thing around was, you know, you you had every guy man his dog and I went agreements with everyone in the country and he's after a while I was like, no, I just want it all in yeah, one spot. Central. So it's not whilst I'm building it for you guys, I'm building it for myself as well. And it will be obviously different lobbies, but it should all be in the same spot. But um with the stock, well um we're trying to get um we have got diverse um, price ranges as well, like for like the Alex Perry stuff at three fifty, which is cool. And it's um the camera. All oh, right. The camera does that. All oh, right. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, di diverse price ranges and um, it was different yields, as I said, to do, I think it's still expensive to grow. And what we're, we're aiming to do is just ha or probably have an edge. It's going to have something that's going to be, A, going to be cash flow positive or it's going to be metropolitan cash flow positive or with a discount or build in equity stuff. Like, I got, we did a deal the other day up in Toowoomba where I sold a duplex pair. Um, it was like 640 grand, but on um, appraisal valuation for duplex in the area, about 350 each, the guy's going to pick up, well, he's paid 620, so he's picked up about 80 grand of them at the end. Plus, after tax, it'll be cash flow positive. I'm oh, sorry, positive in gear would be the best, the best terminology for that. So, you're the, you're the get the finance, can they get it on the face value or? No, you price? can't. You'll only get finance on contract price. Yeah, you won't ever um, do it, but it'd be nice if you could go. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's get a valuation on these. Like right. these, these guys here in Gladstone that are um, 540 valuation, they'll be on the contract price of five, 490 out of 500. Um, and so what we're basically selling in that deal there is the 40 grand upside, but you're not going to get it today. Put a ten in there, get a couple of weeks renting going on, and then go and get a refinance. Get refinance in like six months' time. That's it, or, or less. And you get them into, you know, all less. Or even three months, and you get them, get them into right. the property. But you got to have it, you want to have, if you're going to refinance in that sort of deal like that, you, A, you've got to settle it, then you get the tenants in there. You, you want three months of rental statements, um, so you can present that back to the bank, so here's, here's an income, here's a lease, here's three months, here's settlement, it's worth X. But it's just a nice um, way to be able to sell it, but it's got 40 grand actual real mm -hmm. cash upside, it's not some BS thing because you'll send the valuation out with the deal, the deal sheet. I mean, it's a bit of a no-brainer. Um, so there's a multiple strategy, there's a multiple property strategy that you guys can do if, if it is like that. And there's a multiple property strategy that we can say, okay, you buy a property now and then in three months time, as long as you have wide amount saved, we could potentially get you yeah. into the unit. Correct, property. let's start there probably a bit quicker. And that's what I mean, we've got, um, so yeah, the, 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 the um, deals like that, that we're gonna what we're also doing now is um, we've got some uh, stuff in Mackay now. I've been speaking to the builders this morning and whatnot there. Tip, tip, typically with a house and land, there's two contracts. You've got a land contract and a building contract, and that does not suffice for the ATO for self ownership. It's gotta be one contract, so existing dwelling or off the plan. So that's why Alex Perry is a bit of a guy for that. I sent you through those other Mackay apartments, which are an absolute cracker. Um, they're they're two, separate to Gateway. Yeah, they're different to Gateway, a different supplier again. Um, they're um, a, a great deal there from the, the two bed, two bath, dual key, for the end of a five year, 7% net rental guarantee. So there's no cost at all. With the Alex Perry, you've got the body corporate rate. This is net, net, net. So it's, a, it's an absolute cracker. That's good for self managed supers off the plan. Um, so. What we're trying to do also is because people do want to have, like the one you sold, Gora, the other day, in Chinchilla, was at the uh, house and land, but it was in the self managed super. Yeah. We're negotiating with builders and at the moment, developers, to basically capitalise in the interest component of what it would cost. 
you only buy a house and land yourself. You buy the land, you pay interest on the land, and you, then you have drawdowns with the builder. So there's probably a five drawdown, 20% of each drawdown on stages where you get slabbed down, the builder will take another draw. Frames on, the builder will take another draw from the bank. Then the, the client is actually accruing interest on that. So what they've worked out is how much interest is going to be you know, accumulated over the period for the client. We'll just tap that on the other end. So hence those duplexes where we've been confusion. Uh, 358, 600, I think, and the, the 362, 400 inside super. The builders just capitalised on his interest component. It's sort of great. So a lot of builders are starting to do that now. The market's starting to heat up a little bit. Is it starting to take the risk of okay, great, we'll build. You know, so out of 100, we'll build. You know, 80 of them house and land super contracts and all way, and we'll try and wrap up uh, and we'll build 20 of them for the self money super funds because self money super funds are just on fire. So we can actually get a house and land package into a super fund by getting the builder to build it, which is essentially how it sort of works, so it's a single contract. So we try and just like to stuff that with an edge, so um, everything is, uh, we'll have a big discount or inbuilt equity, um, cash pos or cash positive metro as well, which is another good one. A lot of times most people always think, oh, I want cash flow positive, but I want the security in the metropolitan area. And that's like, you know, hand, hand piece. So we've come across a few of those, Alex Terry from Mackay, not so much metropolitan. We've got some more Brisbane stuff coming on. Um, so the priority stock is Alex Perry and then Glass. The reason Alex Perry is uh, probably a go up for the company's sake, for the 21st century property's sake, is that this one here um, is a the commissions payable are 100% uh, as soon as the 10% deposit is split across. And there's no finance clause. So the minute they sign that contract and it gets sent back, then now in contract, there's no 21 days for finance. So if you're going to put your guys into these ones, make sure they can actually complete. Well, they can, they can actually borrow the funds. Otherwise, I wouldn't like to see, but I hope the developer would have the the, uh, the niceness to go, okay, fair enough, you're off to go. But if, if they, by law, if they want to push it, they could, and they'd repossess, and they'd do it out for to make the property settle. So it's a pretty tight contract, that one. It's good for us, not so good for the client. So you just want to make sure, if you're putting an expressive interest in, that they've yeah. gone through finance, and they actually can complete. Otherwise, you will hurt your client with that one. So I'd say Alex Perry for the for the... For the reason being of um, eight seven percent um, uh, return, it's not net net. You got uh, as I said, you got body corp and um, rates or whatever. And then I think about five grand a year. So you got to chuck that in your numbers as well. So what also, other than that, what I'm going to talk about in a minute is the not so much the finance, but the financials, the numbers on a property. I noticed on the slides, and this is not a, have a shot at anyone on the Alex Perry slides. The numbers. Um, what, when we take a look at the numbers, there we've got to be really careful because someone will would have recorded that perhaps or whatever was and, and they'll come back and go, Well you told me it's gonna be X amount profit end of the year. So you're gonna take into consideration the current interest rate, you know, so you're gonna take into consideration rates, as body corp is it any four hundred bucks a year for maintenance, as loan establishment fees, stamp duty, all this would be good to get um I've got a piece like of a table or something. I've got them and I'm gonna do all yeah, yeah. like, every go and pump them to me like this is just a form. We did have case studies sort of thing, yep. we did off growth, didn't we? Yeah, yeah we did off Is that straight into a computer? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, when we're down here in a minute, I'll, show, I'll, I'll when I get to that point, I'll run through exactly how the numbers look, and then you've got to put in there also that the normal person is a P A Y G, whatever they call it. Mm -hmm. Never been one, wouldn't know. Um, but they um, they'll um, they'll have a tax bracket. So we actually factor in their tax bracket as well, a tax rating. Well, then we'll do a pre-tax tax. Ta cash well, we're, we're about to do is get the P I A software to review with the guys here. Yep. Uh, so can you give us the numbers that we can, for every single example, if we can get the PIA numbers? What I was going to do, oh, you're yeah, going to do it for the, yeah. the individual clients? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, individual yeah. clients. So then, I don't know how, I don't know, that nearly borders on, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, well, I, I do. You've got to be licensed, you've got to have that yeah, license, that's nearly, financial, that's, I, I real estate that. license, no, the real estate Apple. license. You, you oh, you can, because you're I a mortgage broker. I can do that broker. because I'm a, I'm a qualified mortgage broker. Yeah, but we don't want to okay. be bogged down doing everyone's numbers. No, nah, yeah. uh, you can if you want, I wouldn't, I'd get, I might go there. It allows us to, like, allows me to, like, pump out a really quick scenario for someone. Yeah, you, you, you could. got those numbers anyway. So you're oh, saying just to do it in three different tax brackets? No, I just do it in one. Okay. I do it in between the 80 to 180 grand, because if you, most nine times out of 10, if someone... something simple for us? I have, I was going to show it to you in a minute. Actually, I'll, have you got a 